Hi guys, home business expert Amy Hunt. If you haven't watched a video of mine in a while, please stay tuned for this video. I'm only doing this video today because I kind of got freaked out yesterday and what I'm going to show you in the rest of the video is why I kind of got freaked out. Okay, so the reason I got freaked out, I'll show you a little video here. This is actual footage of me taking it in the store yesterday. I'm like, I, I have to share this. I can't hold it in anymore. You've heard about the supply chain problem. You've heard about, you know, maybe products aren't going to be there. Well, here it is, guys. I would love to know in your hometown, like, are things going on like this where you are? Um, I'm sincerely, like, troubled by this. Um, so I went online and I looked into some things. And this is what I have for you. 11 companies own pretty much all the products that you find in the big box stores. Okay? I have a little chart here. You can see it. They're monopolizing the products. So what happens when these supply chains, which I doubt they're all from the United States. Like, seriously, don't know exactly, but I'm thinking most of them are sourced outside the United States. Then I found some more information that was disturbing, and I'll show you on the rest of these slides. Walmart made 523.96 billion, I can't even wrap my head around the billions, which was up 1.86 in 2020. Meanwhile, our little home stores are shutting down because, you know, nobody is allowed to go in them because of various reasons I think we all know. Then I looked into Amazon. It sickens me. I don't know if it sickens you that all this money is going towards one entity. And we have all these family-owned businesses shutting down. Families are suffering locally. I'm sure you all have a case of somebody that you know that's suffering because of something shutting down. I went to Hardee's the other day and they shut down at 4.30 because they didn't have workers and they didn't have enough meat in their freezer. And I actually saw the truck. I should have videoed it, so, like unloading stuff into the store. It, it's, a, it's a crime what's going on. And so my ploy here to you is we can stop this if we take action. And I have a way that we can do this with the United States American-made, factory-made products check it out the rest of the video i'll tell you how we can get connected here but amazon in 2020 had a record-breaking profit year i mean come on people it's ridiculous and then you walk into walmart um you can see that they raked in the billions like here on this this uh chart here i found it and i i have all the links i'll put all the links to where I got these sources from, but Amazon and Walmart raked in billions of additional profit during the pandemic. I mean, somebody's making some big bank, all right? And here you see Bezos uh, that show Amazon's explosive growth during the coronavirus pandemic. So I implore you to help me make a change, shop family-owned, go into your town, shop. But if you want an online source, I have created something called Shop Family Own, and it is to help you and I restore the United States uh, American-made product, a family-backed business manufactured here in the United States. I created Shop Family Own for people who want to walk away from the big box store, invest in their communities, who want to support family and family-owned businesses here in the U.S. I, I just am blown away by the facts that Bezos owns so much money, and he surged in 2020. I mean, you can see his net worth, $178.5 billion. I mean, share a little of that. Or let's take it away from him and give it to the people we know, or even ourselves, the small business owners. Like, and then finally, Target. Target even jumped in on this. I mean, look at their sales um, for 2020. So guys, if you're tired of seeing stores that are shut down, you're tired of going to a store and not getting served, uh, you're tired of going into a store and not having the products, Guys, we need to do our part. We can't sit on the sidelines anymore and let this happen. Stores are closing. Shelves are becoming empty. The big box store shelves are even becoming empty, as you can see. We need to be proactive. We need to take control. That's why I created ShopFamilyOwned.com. Thanks for your time, guys, and hopefully we can connect.